Welcome to this channel. So in the previous one or two weeks, I have shared on the breathing in the training of uh, Wing Chun Xiu Lim Tao or the Wing Chun as a whole. Now, yesterday I got a uh, questions or comment from our uh, Wing Chun friends. And uh, I read you here. You say that, uh, so as you were saying, holding a tuck in pelvis or straightened back all the time is wrong. But is it applicable in some case? Example, when you inhale, when you were bending knees, were you tucking your pelvis and also chin? This raise up a serious problem. That's why I'm making this video today. So today I like to share with you the proper Yi Ji Kam Yong Ma. It's very basic, right? In the Chinese, in Mandarin, it says, Xue Qian Yong Yi Gai Qian Nan. It means that to learn a martial art from fresh is simple. To make correction on a wrong practice or long, wrong training or wrong learning is very difficult. So today I like to share with you so that you know fresh from the basic instead of trying to fix things like this friend try to fix oh this tucking is all those kind of stuff <coughs> so the reason i'm sharing here is not to blame on the past grandmaster or this person or that person is using the mistake of the past as a lesson so that we have a brighter future. Okay. So what I'm going to share with you today, of course, is have to based on ancient evidence based on science. And uh so whoever like to defend their grandmaster, their lineage, please do not watch this channel or this video because this video is intended for everybody to be able to move forward. Not about this grandmaster, this is the best lineage and all those stuff. Okay? Because this is run a sign and cultural education, not running a religion here. The people is important. Do they have the future? That is the important the key. Now let's look into the proper of Ichi Kamyama from French. Human. Put it really basic. I don't even have to go through the six core element. First thing, can you breathe? Does your body support your breathing properly? That's the bottom line. And we know <clears throat> in breathing, like I explained in the other video, your pelvic floor muscle and your diaphragm has to synchronize in order to breathe properly okay and this synchronization is dynamic and from that you need your body to support that okay Unless we know this, we're aware of it, we experience it. We really don't know can we breathe or not. We really don't know can 
whatever we do support that type of breathing. That is exactly the reason why in the past 100 years in Wing Chun Shu Lim Tao, in E.G. Kamyang Ma, things screw up. Because one, mimic, making posture, believing, without really, no, the mechanics of breathing and the body. For example, in the mainstream Wing Chun today, <coughs> right? especially those who talk about internal Wing Chun, what they do? Instruction number one, make a triangle shape with a pigeon toe. So this is like a triangle. Okay, these two toe point together. And then instruction number two, <coughs> Straight your back or straight your spine. Contract your anus or tucking your tailbone. And then you relax and then you will wait for the body to give you all this internal energy or the special type of Wing Chun energy. Okay? That this is a standard mainstream way of teaching today when everybody do EG Kamyong Ma. You look at it in the movie, you look at it in the whatever YouTube. Now, before do this, do one know about the breathing? Do one know about the, the body handling? Of course not. Just everybody go doing this, triangle, and all this instruction. Just look at everybody. Thousands or tens of thousands of people doing this. Am I right? In the entire world, look around. Okay? Now, if we look into the ancient, like the 1850s, Sulim Tao, the E.G. Kanoma, what did it, 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 it teach us? In the beginning, Wing Chun book, It teaches us that the body have the seven bowls, how to handle it, how you have to loose up from bottom up, and then how your body weight has to put on the outside of your leg, and how this toe is either forward or a little bit slightly inward, slightly inward and this is drawing this is not a pigeon toe am i right so here you say that uh, the two big toes are either pointing straight forward or slightly tit forward and inward to the left and right okay so it's like this it's not pigeon toe so instead of like that Instead of like that, it is something like that. Okay? So that is a cord to human body. When you do this, you'll be able to go up and down with the, all the seven bowls is uh, in a really, how to say that, free to move state. And your weight is outside here, okay? And you are free to move your body. That's why your, your, your breathing is free. And your knee is very important. You can go up and down. This is the proper with signs today. Straight down, where do you go? See this? Not this. The minute you have your knee outside your leg, you're putting pressure on your knees. Look at today's spot signs. That is a no-no. You're going to screw your knee if you do that long term. Okay? 
putting a, a, a big effort there. That's why if you go check those old timer of Wing Chun in the past 100 years practice in China, they all have a bad knee when they are old. Okay? There's no surprise that you violate signs, you get into problem. Okay? Now, the second thing is in the ancient, it doesn't teach you to do pigeon toe. Okay? You put it, this is a parallel, and uh, this can slide, this toe can slide pointing in or pointing out based on if your knee is flexible or not. Everybody is different, okay? So it's not everybody have to do this triangle shape. You need to know your body, okay? Now, so it is somewhat for usual normal people. The toe is outward, okay, pointing forward and outward a little bit or inward a little bit. The toe, okay, tilt out or in. Most people is actually forward and even slightly tilt outward, okay, when they, they do a proper Wing Chun Yichi Kamyong Ma. It never does. Why? The minute you do that, first thing your knee, the second you will not have a good handling on your pelvic floor muscle. Okay? That's why the ancient no. Have to be straight. Okay? Basically, it's straight, and then you can handle your pelvic floor muscle. Okay? So you say, well, Hendrik, what is the proof? I prove to you here today. So here on, your Iji Kamyoma is this way. Okay? Get the Wing Chun, a uh, basic, a uh, beginning Wing Chun book. Okay? The thing is there. Okay? And then get today, uh, watch today's uh, video very carefully. So why is the knee must not clamp in, the toes must not clamp in like triangle, inside triangle way? Okay, why you should not do this? You have to do this straight or even this way, like when you do squats. Okay, so it never be like that inside. It is either straight, slightly straight, okay, slightly forward this way, you see this? It's either toe pointing straight, slightly this, but the, the, the leg is still like that, okay, parallel, or slightly that, or like in the uh, squat. Why is it? Let's look at it scientifically. So this device, this device, is for pelvic floor muscle trainer. Okay? Pelvic floor muscle training, this device. Okay? Well, a, lo a lot of our ladies' friends is using that. Okay? Okay? Putting under there. To train their previous for clamping that, and guess what? The toe is this way, not pigeon toe. Okay, not pigeon toe. If you look at the if you look at the instruction closely, it said forty degrees. Okay. So, in today's scientific language, if you specifically want to training your this this uh, uh, pelvic floor muscle, you have to do this, and then you have to have the device and clamping it. 
okay using this side to clamping it okay so but your toe has to like this now if you're doing that want to train that uh, pelvic floor if you do this can you train that of course you cannot that is scientific stuff you want to train your pelvic floor muscle you do this either this you if you have the device you can try it out straight or doing this way you can do it the minute you get into this you will not be able to handle your pelvic floor muscle properly you cannot apply force properly to handle that part of the body now When you do this, you say, I'm going to uh, contract my anus, tail, tuck my tailbone. What are you doing? First, it is oppo against, opposite of what scientific said. If you want to train this buttocks and this, uh, this, uh, this uh, pelvic floor muscle, you have to stand this way. Okay? So, so, what, what is your triangle pigeon toe do to this muscle? That's number one. You cannot handle it properly. The second, if you cannot handle it, it's going to screw up your breathing. Screw up your pelvic floor and your, your, your diaphragm handling. Or synchronizations. So scientifically, and the ancient, the ancient didn't tell you that that you do this. Scientifically, saying that you have to do this in order to to to, to develop that part, the the pelvic floor uh, muscle, or to activate that part of the muscle. Okay. So if you have this, like this friend asked me, or tucking the tailbone and so forth, how are you going to fix it? So we not, we need to know the 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 the, the basic of human body physics, physical biomechanics, and your breathing mechanics. Without that, what are we doing? You 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 doing this? Expect you can handle your anus and your tailbone or you want to do this parallel like the ancient and or like the, the scientific today which is 180 degrees complete opposite from this they are standing this way and the ancient is teaching parallel put your weight here and of course this have a design what is the design? Because you want the stability. This one you get into not as stable, as stable. So this is the optimization of that. You can handle all this thing. The pelvic floor, the muscle, everything is stable. This is not stable. And in martial art, in training of breathing, you want the stable. So in Xiulim Tao, for example, the beginning of Xiulim Tao. Okay, the beginning of Xiulim Tao. You do this, standing up. Automatically, it actually contract your anus, your whatever. Mean that you just uh, actually contracting or, or, or lifting your uh, your your uh, uh, pelvic floor muscle. Okay, and at that time. You exhale. This is up. Okay, the uh, the diaphragm is up. This pelvic floor is up. You exhale. And then, when you brought your hand up, you inhale. While you bend your knee, this pelvic floor loose up, loose down. This 
diaphragm going downward because your knee expands. So it is this. Now, of course, I can do this. Okay? But it doesn't give me the stability. There is the design of the past. That's why it's this. I purposely breathe uh, louder so you know. Inhale. So that part has to be be like that. And also this hand is not going, you know, it, it's not like your, your, your hand, your arm is breaking apart from your body while all this muscle in your breathing is completely not coordinated but again each other. Your knee against your body because that is, uh, you put pressure there. Your anus and all your tailbone, your pelvic floor muscle is against yourself because you, 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 you pigeon toe there instead of doing this. Okay? And then this is in, uh, exhale, sinking or descending, rising, inhale. Now, if you, if you do this, what, what, what are you doing? So, you know, in the proper way is this, right? Always like parallel stance. Simple. You feel free your body. That's the design. But for past 100 years, for some reason, it gets distorted. So this is what I have to share with you. That's what I said. To learn the fresh, it is simple. To try to fix all this already wrong design or improper design or the against the body mechanic design, it is a disaster. You are wasting time. Not to mention, you don't have that that that, that background knowledge, okay? And that's why. I keep in telling people that you want to study shooting Tao everything, you need to go to the 2C. Why? Even though I didn't tell everybody, I use the tools, you see the leg here? This is to activate the entire body without even you know about it. You just do it by instruction, you'll get there. The proper one. That's in Wing Chun Matrix. So if you don't get this, actually in the, uh, the 1850 Shu Lim Tao writing, it is exactly like that. You need to be able to have the 2C state as in that Wing Chun matrix before we can do the Shu Lim Tao and all this Qi and all the stuff. Without that basic 2C develop, what are you doing? Tucking your tailbone, clamping your knee, mind power, your spine, the basic body and the breathing is not even take care of it yet. And we don't know. So it's flying blind for past 100 years, it's like that. So this is what I'd like to share with you today. Okay? You don't have to trust me. Go check into scientifically how did they exercise their, 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 their pelvis floor muscle. Did the knee should can the knee go outside? Like, like when you do do thing, can it be like that? Or it has to be like that. And you do the 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 the, uh, the knee launch and so forth. 